How a random amp gets a table row count. For row counts, read one or two cylinders from one or more amps. Calculate the number of rows in the table by taking the average number of rows per block in the sampled cylinders. Multiply this by the number of data blocks in the sampled cylinders. Multiply this by the number of cylinders for this table on this amp. Multiply this by the number of amps in the system. How does it do a random amp estimate for NUSI non-unique secondary indexes? For NUSI estimates, read one or two cylinders from the NUSI subtable and then count the number of NUSI values in the cylinder. The table row count is divided by the NUSI row counts to get a rows per NUSI value. It also assumes the number of distinct values on one amp equals the total distinct values. Unique secondary index random amp samples are not considered. No random amp sample is ever collected on the UC subtable. The number of rows is assumed since the UC column is considered unique. There's no random amp estimate for non-indexed columns. For non-indexed columns without statistics, the optimizer uses a fixed formula to estimate the number of rows. This is sometimes referred to as heuristics. Teradata assumes 10% for one column in an inequality condition in the WHERE clause. So in our example here, you can see select everything from sales table where product ID equals 1,000. Teradata assumes 10% of the rows will meet that condition because there's only one column in the equality condition. Teradata assumes 7.5% for two columns, each in an equality condition that are anded together. For example, select everything from sales table where product ID equals 1,000 and daily sales equals 50,000. It's these type of heuristics that Teradata makes assumptions on that have proved to be worthy of doing. Remember, Today's Teradata systems always perform a random AMP sample, even if tables have statistics. Then they compare the random AMP sample with the statistics to determine if the statistics are stale. Now, a random AMP is selected for a random sample. When this happens, two things occur. Indexes are sampled on the random AMP, and the PE estimates based on the total number of AMPs in the system. Number two, if a column in the WHERE clause of the SQL is not an index, the PE uses heuristics and assumes 10% of the rows will come back for a single column, 7.5% of the rows will come back if there's two columns, 5% of the rows will come back if there's three columns, and so on.